this is Michael Wilson. We're looking at what is the significance of the tree of life in the Bible. Let's do it, my friends. The tree of life is a fascinating and a recurring theme in the Bible. It appears in the first book, Genesis, and in the last book, Revelation. There's also some other books, such as Proverbs and Ezekiel. But what does it represent, and why is it important for us today? Well, the tree of life, as its name suggests, is a life-giving tree created by God to enhance and perpetually sustain the physical and spiritual life of humanity. It was planted by God in the Garden of Eden, along with the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and it was in the middle of the garden. So the tree of life was pleasing to the eye and good for food. It also had a special property. Whoever ate from it would live forever. So God gave Adam and Eve permission to eat from any tree in the garden, except from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And that would bring death upon them if they disobeyed. Unfortunately, they were deceived by serpent Satan and ate from the forbidden tree, thus bringing sin and death into the world. As a result, God banished them from the garden and placed cherubim and a flaming sword to guard the way to the tree of life so they would not eat from it and live forever in their fallen state. The tree of life symbolizes God's life-giving presence and the fullness of eternal life available in him. And we thank Jesus because Jesus made it possible for us to partake of eternal life. The tree also represents God's provision and his blessing for his people. In Proverbs, wisdom is compared to the tree of life, which gives fruit to those who embrace her. In Ezekiel, a vision of a river flowing from the temple is accompanied by trees on both sides that, hear, that bear fruit every month and whose leaves are for healing. This, this imagery is echoed in Revelation, where John sees a river of water flowing from the throne of God and the Lamb, and on either side of the river is the tree of life, which produces 12 kinds of fruit and whose leaves are for the healing of the nations. So the tree of life shows us that God is the source of all life and that he desires to share his life with us. It also shows us that God has a plan to restore his creation from the effects of sin and death. The tree of life was lost to humanity after the fall, but it will be restored to us in the new heaven and the new earth which we will have access to and enjoy its benefits forever. The tree of life reminds us that God loves us and wants us to have abundant life in him, both now and in eternity. And that's some mighty good news, brothers and sisters.